What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and today we are going over my top sites here in 2024 and in this video I'm going to tell you everything that I like about every single one of these sites. So if you're debating between which one to purchase in 2024, hopefully this video will help kind of educate you guys and make that purchasing decision a little bit easier. Now keep in mind there were a bunch of sites that were dropped at the ATA show this year. I have not gotten my hands on those sites but we plan to. Uh, we plan to do reviews on those. We plan to check those out so this list may change um, once we do those reviews and once we get our hands on those site but as it stands right now these are my top sites now um, one thing that I do want to point out is you can see that I have uh, the dialed Arxos in a dovetail and a Picatinny rail mount as well as the UV slider dovetail Picatinny rail mount and we'll kind of talk about that a little bit later in the video now we're gonna start with the black gold dual track uh, the black gold sites is a site that has been an all-time favorite of mine I actually ran this very early in the hunting season um, in 2023. Uh, I've ran black gold for a number of years and specifically the black gold dual track for about three years. Absolutely love this site. Um, this site does give you the ability to uh, adjust or, or dial in your first, second, and third access where a lot of these sites are only going to give you the ability to adjust your second and third. So that is a big benefit of this site. Um, obviously this is a slider site. So if you want to be able to shoot super long distances, um, in hunting or a total archery challenge event, you're gonna have the ability to do so. Um, and it also has a micro adjustability on the windage and then also the elevation. And one thing that I wanna mention about that is being that it does have the adjustability on the elevation, uh, it also allows you to set this site up so you have a zero stop or a dead stop. So every time you make an adjustment, if you need to roll back up in the dark, you know once you hit that very top range, you're basically dialed back in at your top pin set which for me minus 20 now um, one thing that I absolutely love about the dual track and most of these sites are set up in a vertical pin orientation that's my preference I don't care for horizontal pins so much um, but the the thing that really sets this site aside from all the other ones here on the table is the fact that you have the ability to adjust your pin gap um, whereas a lot of these are fixed so now for me being that the majority of my hunting is in the whitetail woods I set mine up in 10 yard increments if you wanted to ex uh, extend that gap or open that gap up more you could you have about a 15 yard increment that you can play around with so um, if you have your top pin set at 20 your bottom pin would probably go almost all the way to about 35 yards and if you're trying to extend your distance or extend your arrow clearance uh, for like a total archery challenge event that's exactly how I set this up on my bow at the time and I was able to get all the way out to 115 112 yards roughly uh, with no issues on any type of clearance now um, another thing that I love about the black gold sites is they are extremely durable they're very lightweight uh, they also give you the ability to swap out your mounting bracket so if you buy this site um, and you buy it so it's bridge lock compatibles with a Matthews but then you decide to change at a later date um, you can go ahead and swap this out to a Picatinny rail mount um, they also offer another dovetail option that you could choose from if you're looking for an ultralight version uh, but like I said you can swap it out and it, you don't have to go and actually buy a brand new site now the thing that I absolutely love about black gold sites and it really puts this site kind of above the rest of them in regards uh, to this is the pin brightness the the pin brightness on black gold sites all of them in general um, is extremely bright um, and if you stack it up against any of the sites on the table it has the brightest pins hands down I don't think you can compete with a black gold site when it comes to the pin brightness and obviously if you're using this in a hunting situation that's going to be extremely beneficial because most of your shots are going to be in low light situation so um, that is why the black gold site is going to be always on the top of my list uh, for, for bow sites for hunting or a total archery challenge. Now, um, one thing that I did wanna mention is price point on all these sites. Uh, the black gold is coming in at roughly about $399, um, and this is their pro version. Now, moving over to the HHA Rise, I picked this site up in 2023 to play around with, um, and, and really I picked this site up to build a total archery challenge setup. Uh, this site comes in at $499, this is the, the Tetra, 
uh, Rise Max. Um, but keep in mind, they did just recently come out with their custom version, which allows you to purchase the site in a Cerakote finish. If you go that route, just note that it does add up roughly about a hundred bucks to the overall cost of the site. Um, like I said, though, I picked this up to be able to test it out and to build a site for Total Archery Challenge because at the time, the HHA Rise offered the longest site tapes that were available direct through manufacturer. So they got site tapes that go all the way out to 140 plus yards, depending on your arrow configuration and your bow setup. Um, but as soon as I started playing around with this site, I immediately fell in love with it. And probably one of the biggest features that kind of drew me to this site was just how easy it was to be able to change out from different arrow configurations. Most of the sites, you know, don't give you the ability to swap out the roller wheels or change out roller wheels very easily. You basically got to peel sight tapes off. Whereas this one, you can purchase additional roller wheels that actually comes with two in the package. So you can swap between those two very easily. Um, another thing that's a huge selling point about this and it's very similar to the black gold um, is you do have the ability to change out the dovetail option and switch it over to a picatinny rail mount so if you do switch bow manufacturers at a later date you don't have to go and buy a brand new site now another big selling point about uh, the hha is the fact that it is toolless to adjust your windage um, the the elevation adjustment is not a toolless method uh, but comparatively to the black gold you do need tools to make any adjustments now um, obviously the hha does give you the ability to swap out to an aftermarket scope manufacturer you can see that i have the uv slider or the uv um, scope housing small scope housing set up on this site now one other thing that i wanted to talk about um, which really makes this site kind of stand out definitely when compared to the black gold is this infinite adjust rail um, i think hha did a fantastic job on this because it, it not only does it give you the ability to set it up so you have a zero stop but it makes it very easy to ensure that you're getting the maximum arrow clearance whereas again if i compare that to the black gold dual track um, if you have to make any adjustments to the scope if you max out your elevation and you have to move this unfortunately you have to unbolt this from the slide rail and then every time you do that you basically have to re-level out the entire site where hha does a good job because they have really tight tolerances in this infinite adjust rail now obviously it's good to go back and verify that your site's still level, but according to HHA, you shouldn't have to. Now, um, as far as the HHA goes, that's about it. Again, all both of these sites are, are uh, made in America. Um, 100% lifetime warranty. Um, they're extremely durable. I've never had a black gold or an HHA site break, uh, but if you do, they're always super good about taking care of their customers and honoring and honoring that warranty, um, and they'll definitely get you guys set up and going. Now, um, moving over to the dialed Arxos. Um, this site is a site that I picked up in 2023. Um, the more I shot this site, the more I fell in love with it. It is an absolute tank of a site um, this thing is very durable it looks very heavy but in all reality it's not it's very light actually in comparison to the hha i think this this site is actually coming in a little bit lighter um, what surprises me about the dialed arxos is how much hate this site gets like it seems like anytime anyone has anything positive to say about this they were immediately paid by dialed to put that video out and another surprising thing is like most of the people that have have negative things to say about this site have never even shot or tested it so I don't know why all why there's so much negativity or, or so much hate about this site I think the dialed Arxos is a fantastic site um, and there's a lot of things to really like about this a few things that I like about the dialed Arxos is it gives you a lot of uh, options to customize this site you have the ability to tune the site so you can get how you like the roller wheel for me personally I like mine a little bit more on the heavier side or a little bit more tension if you want it a little bit looser, making it a little bit easier to slide through the full range of the site, you can dial that in to your preference. You can swap which sides you want your sight tape on if you want it on your left or you want it on your right. Um, for your top pin, it's laser engraved on the top, which, which makes that pin extremely accurate as you're rolling this down. Um, keep in mind, this site is not a toolless, but you do have more range on your left and right than a lot of the other sites that are available 
available on the market. And also what's nice about that is if you look at like the HHA or the black gold, if you run out of that, that adjustment on your left to right, you actually have to move the bracket, which puts the site a little bit in a vulnerable position. Like if I put flex on this, you'll be able to see this site move a little bit, whereas you're not gonna get that with the dialed Arxos. This thing is rock solid. Now, another thing that I really, really like about the dialed Arxos um, is the fact that they move the bubble level to the top, which really makes for a wide open sight picture. This is hands down the widest or biggest sight picture that you'll get through all of these sites. Um, I also really like the fact that they offer this in a Cerakote finish. Um, Cerakote does offer a lot of advantages over anodized. If you guys are want to debate me on that, have at it. I have articles saved, uh, sites saved. Someone tried to do this on my original review video. I shared those links with them, never heard back from that guy again. But like I said, there are advantages of the Cerakote. And then not to mention, that's what gives them the ability to offer these super sweet custom color options that they have that matches all, that match all the bows. And you can see, even as far as like the void dial, you can get custom colors. They've been doing small batch releases of these. Um, so you can really fine tune this thing and get it set up exactly how you want as far as color and feel. Now, another big selling advantage of the dialed Arxos um, is that this, this site allows you to basically roll in a locked or unlocked position. There's actually no lock on this site, but there is what they call a dial break. So if you want to engage that, you can, uh, but you can still override it and it's meant to be overridden. Um, but I keep in mind, like I've shot this site and I have never used that dial break and I've never had this thing budge on me. Um, whereas if you shoot the HHA unlocked, this thing's gonna move on you. Um, the, the black gold dual track, it's it's been good. I've never had this site move I can shoot that unlocked uh, but I like the fact that you don't have to worry about um, accidentally stripping out a lock in the heat of the moment now another huge selling point is this uh, angled elevation slide rail um, people argue all the time whether or not this really gives you the ability to shoot longer di distances um, and in my testing I had the HHA and the, the dialed Arxos on the exact same bow with the exact same arrow configuration. And I was able to clear a sight tape 30 yards further on the Arxos than the HHA. And keep in mind, I had the smaller scope housing on the HHA. So it will, in fact, allow you to shoot longer distances. Um, this site, I actually have a magnification lens installed. I love how they made that it's super, uh, super simple, super easy. They do have a light kit that you can purchase as an accessory, which which is super bright, kind of helps bring it to the next level. Um, and then another huge selling point about the dialed Arxos is it does protect the third access adjustment. Whereas if you look at like the, the black gold dual track or the HHA, um, where their third access is, uh, is located, um, it is kind of in a vulnerable spot if you were to happen and fall. If you were to happen and fall on your bow, it would be very easy for you to kind of tweak that out of adjustment. Where like I said, the dialed Arxos is, um, is protected. Now, um, the one thing that I do want to mention, and I talked about it earlier in the video, as you can see, I have it in a dovetail and I also have it in a pick mount. Um, that is one thing that you cannot do with these sites. The same thing goes with the, the UV slider. Um, you cannot change what type of mounting bracket you have. So if you do purchase a dovetail and later down the road, you want to purchase a Picatinny rail mount, you just basically have to order a brand new site. So um, that is where the black gold and the HHA do kind of have an advantage over the dialed Arxos and the UV slider. Now, moving over to the UV slider, I ran this site all through, um, basically all through the, the hunting season in 2023. Um, I absolutely love this site. Uh, probably the biggest selling feature um, if you're debating between uh, a UV slider or debating about spending the money on a UV slider uh, because it is expensive. And actually, I forgot to mention uh, the dialed Arxos is coming in at five nine or four ninety nine, um, whereas the the UV slider is, is the most expensive site out of all of these. This is coming in at five ninety nine. Uh, but if you're debating on buying this, um, I would recommend that you go to a bow shop.
that carries them in stock. Sunrise Archery does carry them. So if you guys live in uh, the southeastern Michigan area, go up there. You'll check them out um, and get a feel for the layout of this site and just the overall ergonomics of the site. Um, they literally thought of everything when they built this site, and it's a fantastic site. And I do think it's well worth the money. Um, this site has a lot of features baked into it. Um, just like the dialed Arxos, it does give you the ability to uh, roll the slider when it is locked, uh, avoiding the, the possibility of stripping that out and damaging the site. Um, this is also a toolless method on the elevation and then also the windage. Keep in mind, um, this site does not have a dead stop. That is how you're going to be able to adjust uh, your, your elevation. Now, this site also has a first, second, and third access. The first access is going to come pre-leveled right from the manufacturer, so you shouldn't have to worry about it. You're just going to have to dial in um, your second and third access. Now, um, another thing that I really like about this site is the fact that you can uh, swap between their large scope housing, their uh, smaller scope housing. There's a bunch of different accessories that you can purchase on the UV sliders to really customize them. On this particular site, I did switch from their horizontal pin configuration and went with their vertical double pin. Um, and I actually really, really like that setup a lot. It opened up the site picture a lot more for me. Um, it is a fixed double pin, so you don't have the ability to adjust the pin gap like you do on the black gold dual track uh, but how I have this set up with my hunting arrow uh, my arrow my, my pin gap just happens to fall on 20 and 35 and that's worked out really good for me because if I do want to shoot 30 I just pin gap them and in my testing it's been basically money every single time um, I actually almost according according i called it a little john because it wasn't quite a robin hood because derek over at sunrise was debating with me about it so um i did uh, little john and arrow um almost robin hood it uh, by using that pin gap so you can get super accurate um, another thing that i love about the uv slider is just their built-in light kit um, of all these sites that are on the table they offer the best it's integrated um, if you don't want to run it you can pop it out they have a lens cover um, they also came out with this new uh, high vis ring it gives you you know a clear circle for that peep alignment so that was an excellent add-on um, through uh, ultra view um, and then another huge selling point is the fact that you can actually take this whole scope housing right off of the slide rail so if you're traveling to a destination hunt or if you need to clean this out for any reason uh, you're going to have the ability to do so but other than that um, that's it for the UV slider and that's it for this um, comparison video talking about what I like about each one of these sites. If you guys have any other questions, you know that you can leave me a comment below. You can always reach out to me directly on Instagram. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because all the new products from ATA are dropping. We're, we will be doing reviews on those. We will be checking them out. Uh, but until that time, um, like I said, make sure you guys subscribe, uh, stay healthy, and we'll see you guys on the next one. <music>